Welcome back to the channel guys, we've got another sneaker today that we're actually reviewing. This one's for another assist for the bro, but this time it's actually a, a unique collaboration. Uh, something that's actually appeared out of nowhere, but it's special because it's UK based, it's British based, and definitely, definitely, definitely is changing the culture. So let's take a look at this sneaker. So, welcome back to the channel, guys. Hope you're having a great time out there. Hope you're all looking after yourselves, both mentally and physically, and you keep pushing those barriers, you keep pushing those boundaries, and making sure you're on target for your goals in 2023. So make sure you keep excelling, and you keep hitting your targets, and you build that foundation for the next couple of years to keep excelling and to keep growing to where you'll need to be in life. But on top of that, like I always do, please do check out the Shoot Up podcast, because I always say this to you guys, because the podcast is growing. It's definitely growing. We're starting to get all the audio hits and we're starting to get more hits on the youtube channel so please do check out the shoot up podcast with me and the bro 808 kicks atl we talk about sneaker drama sneaker news sneaker bad behavior because we always take that to sneaker court public opinion and you give our judgment for you guys from the public eye and on top of that like i always say please do like follow subscribe come and chat to me let's have a conversation let's always break it down because we always look at sneakers we always look at content we always look at what's happening in the sneaker environment and that's the most important thing because you need to keep your ears to the ground guys because it's important that you know what's happening in the sneaker environment so you can actually cop these sneakers for retail or close to retail as possible but today's review is a special banger it's a sneaker that's changing the culture it's a movement that's changing the culture and today's sneaker is hey presto shebang this is the cool tees air max 95 pink beam So, as you can see from the B-roll, guys, this is the Air Max 95 Cortez Pink Beam. This is the second variation of that collaboration with Nike and Cortez. The first one being the Gutter Green, but this is the Pink Beam. And it kind of coincided with the first release because the Gutter Green came out and a couple of weeks later, we saw the Pink Beam. And this sneaker came out of nowhere. Literally, the first we knew was on Air Max month when we saw that Alcatraz sign on the Nike, actual Nike town in London. And it, it kind of indicated a collaboration was coming and then all of a sudden bang we saw the two 95s come out and these are absolutely dope let me just tell you 95s and london is a thing guys trust me it's a thing and it's actually translating back into the us because air maxes are absolutely hyped in the us at this moment in time because they are growing and growing and it's becoming a cultural movement let's just say cortez is a cultural movement and if you don't know about cortez cortez basically originated in 2017 it's been six years in the making to this point and it's owned by a 26 year old entrepreneur from the UK who's actually built this brand from scratch and it's absolutely dope to see because we love to see new artists come through we love to see new talent come through and absolutely push the barriers of the sneaker culture and that's what it's all about and this is why I'm absolutely looking forward to this even though this sneaker is an assist for the bro but this sneaker is so so dope guys and if you want to know the owner of Cortez you can actually find him under the Instagram handle clip 419 that's actually what he goes by but also on top of that some of these releases are actually kind of really really secretive where you can actually have to sign up to some blogs and actual pages where you know the release is coming out and once you know the release is coming out you can actually try and purchase it but yes guys this is built off the strategy of Off-White and Virgil Abloh where you make the sneakers hype you actually make them limited and also on top of that you create the hype behind this and give it to celebrities that model absolutely works for this and this is absolutely a dope 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 kind of culture movement from Cortez but before we look at the sneaker let's take a look at this box like we're always in hey presto shebang and as you can see this is an OG Air Max 95 box and on top of this box you can see that swoosh and that Cortez sign and it actually is predominantly everywhere on this box so you've got one there you've got one there and also on, on the bottom of this you also got the affiliated right that comes with this sneaker but the box is obviously OG and inside this box you've got 
more of that Alcatraz side. Look at that box, guys. Look at the inside of that box. And you got the Alcatraz tissue paper as well. Almost looks like camel tissue paper, but inside as well, you've got additional tissue paper that protects the sneaker. This is dope. This whole presentation of this box is dope. Obviously, OG vibes, and obviously the paper that goes with it is also associated with Cortese, but this is a doped up collaboration. Came out the blue, but it's all kind of prepped you can see it's prepped but that's the box guys and on the box logo on the label that's what it should read that's what it should look like that's how it should be guys make sure your box looks like this make sure it comes like this make sure it is actually like this and on the label itself it says air max 95 sp and basically it is grid grid run pink beam black i probably didn't even say that right but the code on it is fb2709001 and basically is a uk 9.5 not my size it's for the bro and basically us 10.5 and eu 44.5 guys that's what it should look like guys remember that and that's how it should be that's the box guys now let's take a look at these sneakers it's sneaker time so hey presto shebang and as you can see guys this is the air max 95 cortese pink beam and that pink beam name comes from that absolute Absolutely pinked out air unit on this sneaker absolutely dope the air unit is almost like translucent but it's actually kind of more coming from the actual unit inside than the actual bubble so the unit is actually pink but the actual bubble is white through so you can see or more of that translucent vibe to this sneaker the actual swoosh on the top of this actual ankle is actually pink as well and the Cortez is pink as well and you've got another addition you've got that sea star Cortez at the front of this toe which is also pink the pink vibes hit this absolutely dope and last but not least that Alcatraz sign on this sneaker is absolutely pinked out as well such a dope sneaker this actual logo is absolutely dope that Cortez logo is on point guys everything is stitched through it's premium all the way through and also on top of that you got the Nike it on the back with the actual this this kind of numbering on it I need to find out what that actual numbering is guys but it says a 916 dot zero it could be it could be it could be the other way actually zero point zero eight zero zero nine one six it kind of goes that way i think but yeah i need to work out what that is but what i do love about the upper is in a dark room you actually could see more of that black kind of vibe to the sneaker but when you zoom it in and if you're in a dark guys if you're in a dark environment you can probably just see the pink accents to this but if you zoom it in as you can see the layering on this is absolutely different and dope and the first two layers on this sneaker being more of this like purple vibe to this and then you've got this green that comes through almost like a darky green vibe but it's more black than green if you get what i mean it's like almost like a two-tone colorway but more this purple hits the toe and you've got the mesh on the actual 95 it's more of a different because you don't normally get the mesh on the 95 but this is meshed out like an army campus sneaker but on top of that you've got the lace lock on this with the black laces i don't think i don't think you get extra laces with this but also the inner lining and the insole is absolutely dope. You've got that camo in the inner lining, as you can see, guys. And in the insole, when you take this tissue paper out, remember, guys, Nikes nowadays come with tissue paper. When you take this tissue paper out and you take the insole out, you can actually see this actual insole stuck, but I need to be careful. When you take this insole out, you can see that camo hits the insole. I'm not going to take it out because it's more stuck in than anything else, but you can see the camo insole. And then also you've got the pink, Nike Air on this absolutely dope guys absolutely dope this whole sneaker is absolutely dope but addition to that the outsole is absolutely magnificent because you've got more of that camo and that pink writing at the bottom of that I'm trying to read what this says actually it's more no it's just it's just um Cortese with a star in it on the actual outsole there you go guys and more of that black outsole but with that camo in the actual middle of the actual foot guys this sneaker is dope i'm gonna give this a five goats i'm gonna give this five goats the collaboration is absolutely dope not super good because it's not a sneaker that i wear in predominantly 95s but this is absolutely dope it's dope dope sneaker but guys if you want this sneaker this is not going much over retail so you can actually pretty much purchase this i think the resale has gone down on this but this reminds me of the skepta sks which basically went up in price the first variation went up in price so this over time will go up in price but this is the premium time to get this the hype the hysteria behind this brand will only escalate over time because this is a growing growing brand and don't miss out when you can because this is still dope this is still dope
such a top sticker. And this is for the bro, but like I do on the channel, I'm gonna give you that front perspective, I'm gonna give you that booty action back perspective, I'm gonna give you that lateral side, I'm gonna give you that medial side, and then give you that beautiful outsole. Such a great sneaker, such a great release. Giving out that 360 degree rotation, make sure you keep pushing boundaries, make sure you keep pushing culture, and make sure you keep bringing heat to the streets. Bang, bang, and bang, guys. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely dope. This is going to the bro because he actually wanted it, and I was able to get this because if I remember rightly you had to actually go to the stash points because sneakers that did stash points like I do you have to go and try and search for the sneaker in the area you have to be in the area trying to cop that sneaker and lucky enough I was in central London uh, picking up my SB Jordan 4 Pine Greens and this actually came up and I actually went to the location for the bro and actually copped it for him but this is a dope 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 sneaker if you want this guys go cop this guys because I yeah guys such a dope release such a dope release the second variation the first variation is going for quite a bit because obviously that was the first collaboration with Cortez and Nike but this is the review for the Air Max 95 Cortez pink beam if I missed anything just leave a comment and let me know guys because obviously I'm new to the Cortez brand I'm actually bringing you this review because it's for the bro but dope dope sneaker dope dope release but thank you for tuning in thank you for joining in thank you for always coming back and showing support but like I do at the end of the review I'm gonna say hope you have an amazing week amazing month and an amazing year and i hope you guys cop the sneakers you like because you deserve to get the sneakers you want from me tj i love customs peace out for now guys and peace